Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor John here once again from Napanee Baptist Church. It's Friday, June the 4th, and it's great to be with you. And I hope you're encouraged today, and I hope you are in the Word and praying and having devotionals and staying close to Him. And we have these visits with the pastor just to spend time together in this way, way because of the pandemic just a good way to stay connected. So if you can turn in your Bibles, we usually have a little Bible reading, so if you can turn to Philippians, the book of Philippians, we're doing a little series there, chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, starting with verse 12. It says, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Verse 14, do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life. And then I will be able to boast on the day of Christ that I did not run or labor in vain. Verse 17, but even if I am being poured out like a drink offering on the sacrifice and service coming from your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. So you too should be glad and rejoice with me. So here, of course, Paul is writing this letter from prison and yet he's talking about rejoicing and he's talking about uh, doing everything without grumbling or arguing and uh, that this is his prayer this is his hope for the Philippian people for the uh, church at Philippi See, and look at verse 15 he says so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation, then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. And that should be our prayer for each other, that uh, God would work out our salvation, uh, because he is the one who is working it out, not us. Uh, because he says in verse 13, for it is God who works in you, and uh, to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. So that's what should be our guiding, the guiding principle in our lives, to want to act in such a way that would fulfill God's purposes, that would please Him. And then we do that without complaining and grumbling and arguing, because that's our desire to become pure and blameless before God, Paul says. So may you be encouraged today. May God help us to keep trusting Him and to keep doing His will in spite of the world that we, we live in, in spite of the generation uh, that we live in. So let's just pray and commit ourselves to Him. Father in Heaven, I just thank You for each person who's watching today. I thank You for our church family. And I'm just hearing the worship team practicing in the background, singing some wonderful old hymns, and I'm just reminded how faithful you've been, Lord, to us, to our church, that you have kept us going through this pandemic almost 15 months now, and the worship team is still practicing, and we're still preaching, we're still having Sunday services, we're still having midweek Bible studies. We just thank you, Lord, that you are still at work within us you know warped and crooked generation paul says and so lord i just pray for each person watching today that you'd bless each one encourage each heart help us to keep trusting you in all things and looking to you lord give each one a good safe weekend and uh, be with us as we meet together on sunday the few of us who can Lord, we pray that you'd give us your strength and your power, that we would worship you and uh, present your word in the way that we should. And so, Lord, we commit 
this time to you now. We thank you for this new day. We give you praise in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful Friday. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you again on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.